Hey guys, Aubrey here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 5 Module 2 Lesson 2 homework. So let's get started. Number one, round the factors to estimate the products. Alright, so let's see. Again, like I always say, one of the most important things when doing a math problem is understanding the problem itself. So we're trying to round the factors. A, we have 697 times 82. So the biggest digit in 697 is 600. So that means we're running to the hundreds place. Um, and that rounded to hundreds place would be 700. And then 82, um, the biggest digit um, place value is the tenths place. So we're running to the tenths place. That'd be 80. So 700 times 80. Well, 7 times 8 is 56. And there's 1, 2, 3 zeros. So our answer is 56,000. And now a reasonable estimate for 697 times 82 is 56,000. Our MP, 5,897 times 67. So rounding to the nearest thousands, and that would be 6,000 times um, rounding to the nearest tens, that would be 70. 6 times 7 is 42, and there's 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. So our answer, um, a reasonable estimate would be 420,000. All right, and see, 8,840 times 45. So first one, I'm rounding to the nearest thousands, and that would round to 9,000 times to the nearest tens, 45, that would round up to 50. Now, 9 times 5 is 45, and there's 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. So then a reasonable estimate would be 450,000. Alright, number 2. Complete the table using your understanding of place value and knowledge of rounding to estimate the product. So first, I have 3,409 times 73. So around to the nearest thousands for this one. So we have 3,000, then now to the nearest tens times 70, and that would be 21,000 or 210,000. All right, so B, 82,290 to the nearest um, 10,000 because the greatest um, place value in that number is 10,000. That would be 80,000 times 240 to the nearest hundreds place would be 200. Eight times two is 16, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. Ooh, so that'd be um, 16 million. All right. Um, C, 9,832 times 39. To the nearest thousands, that would actually go to 10,000 times 39 would round up to 40. One times four is four, and we have one, two, three, four, five zeros. So our answer is 400,000. Let's see, D, 98 tens, 10 out of zero, that's 980 times 36 tens times 360. To the nearest hundreds, 980 would go up to 1,000. And then 360 would go up to uh, 400. 1 times 4 is 4, plus the 5 zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Our answer is 400,000. And E. 809 three hundreds, that's 893 plus two zero, that's 89,385 tons, that's 850. So 89,300 to the nearest um, 10,000 would be, oh wait, actually, nearest 10,000, so nearest, um, we have the nearest 10,000, that would be 90,000 times 850 to nearest hundreds would round up to 900. Nine times nine is 81, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. 
and six. So our answer is 81 million. Number three says the estimated answer to the multiplication problem is 800,000. Which of the following expressions could result in this answer? Explain how you know. So first we have 8,146 times 12. So this number would round to nearest thousands, which would be 8,000 times 10. So then that would be, I would have four tens, four zeros, I mean, so that'd be 80,000, and that's not the same. So this one, we have, we can just write not enough zeros because this number we need one, two, three, four, five zeros, and this number only has four. So not enough um, zeros. And the next one, um, this is around to 80,000 times 100, which 8 times 1 is 8, and there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros. That would be 8 million. So this one actually has too many zeros. And now this one, um, this number rounds to 8,000 times 100. 8 times 1 is 8, and there's 5 zeros. So this number um, is the answer. We're going to sorry enough zeros so this one will work but now let's just try this one 80,000 because it runs to 80,000 times 1,000 um that's eight one two three four five six seven zeros that's 80 million so that is definitely way too much so way too many zeros all right, next page, number four says, fill in the blank with the missing estimate. Estimate. So A, um, 751, we round up to 800 times 34, round down to 30. And that's how they got that answer. All right, and now 627 to the nearest hundreds would round down to 600 times 700, which is how they got 420,000. And C, 7,939 to the nearest thousand would be 8,000 times 500. That's how they got 4 million. All right, number five. In a single season, the New York Yankees sell an average of 42,362 tickets for each of their 81 home games. About how many tickets do you sell for an entire season of home games? You have 42,362 times 81 home games. All right, so that would round to, to nearest 10,000, that would be 40,000 times 80. Four times eight is 32. But then plus one, two, three, four, five zeros. That our answer would be three million two hundred thousand. That means they sell about three million two hundred thousand tickets for the whole season. Number six, um, Raphael. I think that's how I pronounce it, Raphael wants to buy a new car. All right, he needs a down payment of $3,000. If he takes $340 each month, about how many months will it take him to save the down payment? So our equation here would be 3,000 divided by the 340 each month. So 3,000 is already rounded. So then this goes to 3,000. We don't need to round that. Divide by 340 to the nearest hundreds would be 300. So 3,000 divided by 300 would be 10. Because also 300 times 10, just add another zero, that's 3,000. So then that means 10 is our answer. So about, let's say about 10 months. 
be his new car payment will be two hundred eighty eight dollars each month for five years. Um, estimate the total of these payments. So each month for five years. Let's see. Let's do some basic knowledge here. We know there's twelve months in a year. So twelve and for five years, so twelve times five would be sixty. So then two hundred eighty eight each month for five years. Then our equation is 288 times 60, which would round, 288 would round to the nearest 100, which would be 300, and then times 60. 3 times 6 is 18, plus the three zeros. So 18,000. That means the payment will be about 18,000. Yeah. $18,000 actually. Yeah. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye!